Hi everyone. In this video I'm going to show you how to set up an admin account. Now in previous videos I've shown you how to set up a root user account and admin accounts are a little bit different. The reason that you want to set up a secondary admin account is just in case your regular admin account, which is usually the one you set up with your computer when you first got started, if it gets damaged in any way, it's really good to have a secondary account set up that you can test uh, your browsers or if anything else is going wrong. And the reality is an admin account can create another user account if something goes wrong with your main one. So it's always good to have that secondary admin account set up. Here's how you do it. You go into your Apple menu, you go to System Preferences, you go to Users and Groups. Click on Users and Groups and you'll see a lock at the bottom here. Click on the lock. Put in your password, the same one you use to log into your computer. And once you do so, um, hit this little plus sign here at the bottom. And then you'll have the option to pick an administrator user, a standard, managed with parental controls, sharing only. So I would pick the administrator. You put in your full name, whatever you want to call it. You can put an account name, make it the same. You can use your iCloud password or you can use a separate password. And I'll set up a separate password. Then you have to put in the second password again. And then you can put a hint if you want. Um, a hint could be my dog or something like that. And then you create the user. Once the user is set up, as you can see, the one that I named here has shown up right here. You can, as an admin, reset passwords. So it's pretty cool. And you can enable parental controls on the account, but you don't want to do that because you want to keep this as a backup account. So now that you've set it up, where is it exactly? Well, if you go into your users folder and basically in your main hard drive, so whatever this hard drive is that you have here, if you open it up, you'll see a users folder. And in that users folder are each one of these uh, user accounts. And that's how you get started by having a backup user account. Now, how do you use this new user account? Well, when you log out, you simply log in with this username and the password that you set up instead of the one that you had. Well, you may have uh, it set up to automatically log in. Well, if you do, you click on Login Options, and over here you can choose whether or not you're going to have an automatic login or not. I turn it off so I always have the option as to which user I want to log into. You can turn it on, turn it off, whatever you want to do. It will always work. But this is where you can actually select which account you want to automatically log in or just keep it off and be able to choose your account on the startup. So try out this tip. It's really good to have a backup account just simply to test and make sure that everything goes well. Another option here is you can see all of my different user accounts over here and basically you can switch between the two. So here I'm still logged into this window and I'm still logged into this account. I'm not going to log out but I'm going to go to this account and here we go and I'm going to type in my password and hit login and that's going to log me into that account. So that's all there is to it.